Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Puck drop just moments away. Quick thought before we get things underway here in the postseason. The veterans will be excited. The rookies will be so nervous as they all get set to drop the puck for the first time in the playoffs this year. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. No, oh, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Cuts to the front. He scores! His first career playoff goal. He was saying to a couple guys this morning he thought he was going to be able to score soon. Looks like he's right. It's a long series, but it's always nice to get the first goal of the series. They're in the back of the net first. Cleveland's got the game's opening goal, and it didn't take long. You always want to start quickly, but I don't think anybody really thinks it's going to be this fast. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Score by number two. Moves it around along the half wall. From the boards, he takes that pass. Let's the wrister go. And he went too high on that one. Trying to get it right under the bar, and he zips it up over top of the net. Time of the goal. From center, they get into the attacking area. Bakersfield's gained possession along the boards. And comes up with nothing on the play. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. The Monsters looking against the half wall. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. Bakersfield's got it in their own zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Condors gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. And let's see what the call is. The Monsters are being called for tripping. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. Bakersfield's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, you hope they're ready for this opportunity, James, as it shows up as they're trailing by one. Now they get a man advantage and a chance to tie this game up. Another stop by the goaltender. No, sir! Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Gets a puddle on it to make the save! But he came out and challenged a good save. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. The Condors have had their opportunities here in this first period, but are still trailing. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Monsters will kill off a few extra seconds now. No one home on that play. Bakersfield's on the attack. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Monsters lead it 1-0. The Condors win it. And now it's grabbed by Lowe. Turns it away. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. The Condors win the faceoff. That's off a stick. Taken along the wall by McLeod. Cleveland's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. They can't convert on the power play. They still trail on this one. Well, not much they're going to be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. A shot stopped by the goaltender. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. 
how you react. You go to get the puck and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. A criticism of their power play is that they hold the puck, they pass it around a lot, it looks great, but they never shoot it. They'll be trying to get the puck to the net more frequently. And manages to clear the zone. The Monsters get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Booming shot, just wide. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. The Monsters gain possession along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Hammers a shot, and he makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period. The Monsters have taken a 1-0 lead. The Frozen Biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Monsters scoop it up along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Monsters fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really, nothing very good about it. Grimbus got it in the defensive end. And now he moves it quickly to Cracknell. Carries it across the line. Right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. As soon as the player winds up, the goaltender moves out, squares up, and makes the save on the slapper. The Condors are still trailing here in this first period despite the opportunities they've had. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Cleveland's got it in their own zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Cannon of a shot! Denies him! He got all of it! After that stop, Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off looming. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Bakersfield's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Cracknell. Bakersfield's in now. Moves inside. Let's it go and makes the save. Cleveland's got the puck along the wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in a scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. Nice feed from the goaltender. And he gains the zone here. Cleveland's playing it from the side. The Condors take possession in the defensive end. Gains the zone from the right. Bakersfield's got the puck along the wall. Fantastic save! Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Ray, it looks like tripping. It's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. One just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit anybody, and I take a <laughs> tripping penalty. Safety first. Puck picked up by Lowe. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. The Monsters take it across the blue line. Cleveland's got it along the wall. Here he is, shot right in front. Tried to pick his spot, but that goes off the side of the net. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Nice poke check. The Condors have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. With the stop. Collins takes the puck. The Monsters are on the attack. Moves the puck. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Both teams back at even strength with the one goal lead still there. Another good job by the penalty kill, and this is at a critical time. They still lead, and they can thank their penalty killers for that. Dishes it to Simpson. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. 
The Monsters played along the boards. Sends it out right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Bakersfield's got a hold of it along the wall. Gains the zone on the left wing. Driving right to the front. Clint Dennings picking up momentum through center. Cleveland's got the puck against the boards. On the backhand. Big save. Dead center. Excellent save. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Here's a blast! Denies him on the slapper! Cleveland's got a hold of it against the wall. Here they come. Tries it to the crease! That opportunity is rejected. Forsberg's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Getting into the later stages of this period. Cleveland's up one zip. Coolis has it in their own end. Sends the cross ice pass. Nice zone entry from the left. Let's it go. Denied by the goaltender. Bakersfield's down, but not out. They've had chances. They just haven't capitalized. Cleveland's got it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Gallant. Keeps hold of the puck. From the neutral zone now. Here's a shot. A simple stop with the glove by Forsberg. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Cleveland's won the face-off. Wrestling in close. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery. He got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. Handles the puck. Gallant's got it now deep inside his own end. Cleveland's moving it into the offensive end. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. They go on the attack from the left side. The Monsters gain control of it. Delpy's got it through the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Just slide to the net. Here's a chance to set up now. Cleveland's got the puck behind the net. Back to the point it goes. The Condors gain control of the puck against the wall. Gains the zone through the middle. And he slides it quickly to Cracknell. Just wide. You can go games without a chance from here. The Monsters take over on possession. Quick pass to Mateau. And that'll do it. Period number one is in the books. Cleveland's pace of play, the difference here in the first 20 minutes, they lead it 1-0. The good old days of hockey are back. Vintage jerseys are now available at kiosks. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. McKinnis wins it in the dots. With possession along the wall. Here he is in front. Stones up with the blocker. Bakersfield's got the puck along the boards. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Condors ready to go on the attack. That goes wide. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Too much traffic in the lane. Stopped by the goaltender. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Let's it fly. Makes the save. Malone's going to play into the corner. And now he moves it to low. Move to the middle. Rister, and that one's blocked. Cleveland's gained possession along the boards. The Monsters move it ahead. Gains the zone from the right side. 
Clendenning's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier. Nice pass. From the left side, they gain the zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cracknell. The Condors get a hold of the puck along the boards. And they can convert to the play. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. Made the stop on that play. Forsberg's strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. Takes a shot, and that misses. Grabbed along the boards by Bouchard. Quick shot. Whoa. There it is. His first career playoff goal. He doesn't have to wait very long to celebrate that. That's a great feeling getting on the board in the playoffs. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Bakersfield's counterpunch pays off. They've evened things up here in the second. They've had really good legs since the start of this period, and it seemed like a matter of time before they'd punch through. The Monsters have it now, and tries to make a diagonal pass to Mateau. Nothing doing on that. McLeod's lugging the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Cracknell's got the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Sherwood. The Monsters move it in. Bakersfield's got the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. They've got the defense outnumbered with the stop. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. The Condors take possession off the faceoff. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Simpson's got it into... He's got a step! And he can't! Uh, James, oh. he doesn't even get it on the net. Rifles it wide. Nice zone entry from the middle. The Monsters gain possession along the wall. Denies him in front. The centermen glide into position. Coolis wins it in the offensive zone. Wrist went in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Cleveland's looking to break out. Delphi's got it across the line. The Condors gain possession in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Handles the pass at center. Denies him on the play. The Monsters scoop it up along the boards. Down the right side and into the zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Nice save from point-blank range. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Centering pass! And the goaltender makes an easy glove save. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Forsberg's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Drives to the sweet spot on the backhand. And he gets a paddle on that one. Bakersfield's got a hold of the puck. Gives it right back. Hangs onto the puck. 
Takes the feed at the point. Comes up with the stop. Bakersfield's got the puck along the wall. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Takes a shot, and that was stopped. From behind the net. Takes the feed. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Sent into the offensive zone. Bakersfield's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Lowe. Receives the pass. Gains the zone through center. Shot, and that one's turned away. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Quick feed to Bouchard. Here's a shot, and a great save. The Condors have it in the offensive zone. Oh, just wide. Right in his wheelhouse, he powders it, but just misses. Picked up along the wall by Sherwood. The Monsters will play it from the defensive zone. And gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. And now he tries to get it across to Sherwood. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Bakersfield's got possession here in their own end. And now it's over to McLeod. Bakersfield's moving it up the ice. The Condors have the puck now. Tremendous play for the team as he blocks it. Stones him in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Cleveland's got it in the offensive zone. The Condors have it against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Manages to hang on. Puts it high. And going for the top bin. He just misses it up top. Mateau's picking up steam. Fires it. And that's blocked away. The Condors are in transition. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Cleveland's got it across the line. Let's the wrister fly. Gives them nothing in front. You don't have a lot of gear there when you slide and sprawl to block a shot. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we got a tie game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Condors take it across the line. Stopped with ease. That's not even a rebound anymore. It's like a cleared puck. Off the goalie and into the corner is a safe place. Bakersfield's gained possession. Tape to tape pass the center. You saw the lane there, James. That's a good pass. Pass back to the point. Takes a shot. Oh, and it goes just wide. Just wide, way wide. It doesn't matter. It's not on the net. He's got to get that at the goalie. With the blast. Denies him with the save. Bakersfield's got a hold of it along the wall. Cleveland's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Esposito. He carries the puck up along the wing. Stays with it. Cleveland's got control of it now from their own end. Picks up the puck in his own end. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, Voted on by you, our fans. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next.
time for the opening face-off here in period number three. James Slavowski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Third period is now underway in this very tightly contested affair so far. Here's a chance denied by the goaltender. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Bakersfield's got it against the boards. Cleveland's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Carries it in. Cuts to the paint. And that's blocked. Stick saved by the goaltender. Yeah, it's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. There's another stop. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Sends the pass over. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Slides the puck over. Comes up with the stop. Cleveland's got a hold of it against the wall. The Monsters move to the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Right in the slot. Turns it away. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Hammers the shot. Turns him away. The Monsters gain control of the puck against the wall. Mateau's stick handling in his own zone. The Monsters carry it along the wall. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Misses the net. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Goes right to the crease. Turn that one aside. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Slides it quickly to Sherwood. The Monsters take it along the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Couldn't connect on that pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Bakersfield's got control of the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Back to the blue line. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Sends a pass over. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Makes a move in front. Snaps one on net. Oh, couldn't finish the job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. Across the line and on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. Cleveland's got it in their own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here's the chance, and he comes up with it. Delphi's exploring options with the puck. Save made by the goalie. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Bakersfield's ready to go on the attack. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes it to the net. Cleveland's got the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Kulis picks up the puck. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Look out! It scores! Uh, this is a different level here. You get into your first playoff, and you're able to get on the board. Wow, did he hammer that? Too much power for the goalie to control it. It hits him and still goes in. Cleveland's gone up by one in this third period. Do you attack or do you sit back? Well, for me, it's always to attack. At least don't be conservative yet. Too much time left. The Condors get a hold of the puck off the draw. Scored by number 28, 
Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Esposito. From in close. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Takes it to the front. Big save. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Up he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Monsters are looking to build on this one goal lead. Bakersfield's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Grabs it in his own end. And he easily stops that one. The Condors still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. McKinnis has won the draw. Grabbed along the board by Simpson. Shot in front. Misses, and what a head scratcher there, Ray. The net is just a rumor to that puck. I mean, that thing is wide by a mile. The Monsters gain control of it. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Monsters will play it against the boards. Cleveland's got the puck along the wall. The Monsters take it from the side. Gets a stick on it to make the save. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Puts it on net, and that goes off a player. The Monsters look to start the transition game. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And now he angles it across to McKinnis. The Condors have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Slides it back to the blue line. Quick shot comes up with the stop. He scores! And a big one at that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Condors have drawn even here in the back half of the third. Working away at the game, you want to give yourself the best chance to win. You don't want this lingering on too long. Now they've tied it. By number 16, Tyler. Fires one on goal and makes the save. Puts it in for the goal and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board and you can relax a bit. Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Bakersfield's gone up by one. What's the strategy now, Ray? Nothing really changes except you are cognizant of the fact you have a one-goal cushion. But you want to play up the ice. You want to be aggressive. Takes the pass. Gets in front of it. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Right up the gut. Here they go. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Cutting to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Taken by McLeod. Stick save from the goaltender. Forsberg's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Condors win the draw. Can't get it to go. The Monsters get a hold of the puck along the boards. Works it across to low. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Moves the puck. Cleveland's in now. A howitzer off target. Cleveland's night has been summed up right there. A missed chance here late in the third period. They've only got themselves to blame. 
Skates to the crease. Cleveland's got the puck in their own end. Across the line from center. The Monsters take it along the wall. Shot. Denies him. Forsberg's athleticism serves him well there. Excellent stop. That pass goes a little sideways. Takes it right in the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Forsberg's been terrific in here late in the third. He's so close to locking this thing down. Late goings of this period. The Condors are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Bakersfield's got a hold of the puck. Nice pass. Nice feed from the right wing. The Condors played along the boards. Effective use of the paddle on that one. The Monsters gain possession along the wall. McKinnis looks around. And now it's grabbed by Bouchard. They go on the attack through center. Unloads it, and it comes up with the save. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Bakersfield's got it, and they're on the attack. Takes it into the slot. He scores! And a big one from there! That's a pretty critical goal in the playoffs here. It's his first ever. Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows them to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. Bakersfield's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. The Condors win it at center ice now. He grabs the puck. Bakersfield's on the attack. Great read to break up the play. 17 minutes, 30 Cleveland's on the attack. Here's a blast, and that goes wide. Sometimes you're so focused on shooting it quickly, you don't get it on the net. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Condors ready to go on the attack. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though, you got a better chance to score. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Maintains possession. He scores his first career playoff goal. Different level of excitement, James. You score in the regular season, that's one thing. You get another one in the playoffs, and you are pumped. Well, the goalie's not going to like this, mainly because that turnover right in front of him doesn't allow him to get set. He gets beat down low. Bakersfield's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Handles the puck. Just wide. The Condors have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Cracknell. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot, and he misses. That's a really good scoring opportunity that the goalie doesn't even have to make a save on. The Monsters take it across the blue line. Stopped by the goaltender. Forsberg's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. Moves it over to Gallant. And he takes a shot. Shuts him down. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The shooter really laid into his deep, but the goalie's like reading a children's book. He knew exactly where to be. Bakersfield's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. Cleveland's got it in the offensive zone. What a stop! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Stanton's flyby to the bench is over. He's got a new twig. He's back in the game. Takes a shot! Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Ray, it's the proverbial drawing of first blood as they take the 1-0 series lead. A well-played game for them. Now they've got a leg up. You try to, game by game, chip away at your opponent's confidence. 
For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. This series will continue on, and we will talk to you then. Good night, everybody.